everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. So I'm here at Chesington checking out some updates that have been happening here on Park. Now, there has been a couple of bits of new merch, which I'll pop up on the screen now. New Bubble Works pizzas. However, we're looking around the park today mainly, just to see what's been going on since opening. And it's currently middle of May. So apparently at the moment, the lions are a little bit poorly. So there are signs up. And there are also barriers up by all the windows, as well as the big one. So you can't get too close, but you can still see them. <laughs> And it's currently still unknown what is wrong with these guys, or if it's the male or the female, or what's going on. But there is now barriers up around the windows, so no one can tap on them. So down at Sea Lion Bay, they are still yet to update the sea lions to add Leo to the board. So hopefully this will happen soon. We have just come over to have a little look at him. And of course, coming up to this June, it's going to be his first birthday and he has got so big since he was a sea lion pup and it's been crazy to see how much bigger he's got. So adorable. the rocks <laughs> if you haven't seen previous videos of mine they have now tarmacked the whole of a uh, shipwreck coast that kind of area as well as a little bit into trail of the kings that way and there is a new like kind of anchor mural piece over there but they have now tarmacked this it can get a little bit slippery if it is wet but at the moment being sunny it's all good over on my winter developments uh, you would have seen that uh, the adventure carousel has had a repaint can you see just here? <laughs> Tiny Truckers has had a complete refurb and repaint over on the building and queue line as well as you can see just here. And it looks so much better, so much brighter and so more colourful. I have just actually spotted Dragon's Fury is stuck. So to head into Land of the Dragon there is a brand new set of steps to get up to the toilets as near world of jumanji there isn't any but this is uh the new kind of stairs they've built and if you follow it up it brings you to a nice little kind of shaded seating area but also the toilets new entrance in and there is also a brand new piece of artwork for of course dragon's fury how amazing does this look with the little tucks up as well the og blue dragon it looks amazing I have just noticed with this kind of piece, you've got Land of the Dragon there, you've also got Dragon's Fury, you've got, of course, Jumanji, there's the Jaguar, you've got the Lorikeets, the Tuk Tuk, which is kind of uh, World Asia, and then you've got the Banyan Tree. Dotted around the park now, there are little map shacks. I've seen green, red, and blue ones so far. The specific ones outside Dragon's Fury. I've also seen them in Wildwoods as well as outside of the park. But these are brand new as well, the paper maps are back. So it is very unfortunate, one of the four tigers here in Land of the Tiger did pass away about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Chesington did post this on their page. It seems that other three are living quite well at the moment, however I just thought I'd update that for you. Down in Lorikeet Lagoon there have been birds painted up on the sides, it's close today. There has been a little bit of artwork done on the sides, some of them have eyes as you can see, some of them don't. So if they're unfinished or leaving them, I'm not sure. But I think these kind of just add a nice little detail to the area. I'm not sure if outside table, Temple of Mayhem or if it's just because I haven't been here in a long time. If they've repainted like these, as well as a couple of little bits, obviously not those. But a couple of little bits, I'm not sure if they've repainted because they look quite clean or even clean. So that could potentially have happened down here by Temple of Mayhem, but I'm not 100% sure. So I think it's little things that have kind of been painted and touched up this season. Like the op box there for the jungle bus, things like that. Kind of little areas have been painted as I've been showing you guys around. So if you didn't know, the organist over here in the vampire queue, oh my God, my hand is so shaky because it's so zoomed in, but 
Um, the lighting, the lighting for this is a brand new lighting kind of package, and new for the 2023 season, I do believe. Uh, so you'll get to see some of it in a minute, but that is a new update. graveyard scene so whether they've got the same or similar smell pods that's just something to note next time you come you can also hear it slightly there is a new audio for when the trains come back in the station so i'm not sure but i think these are new the new vampire one and two for where you come to stand before you get batched on um, i think these are new they are, they're very cool. So, the ring-tailed coyote here at Chesington. I've uh, never seen these guys before. And this is the first time I've seen them there, currently in the enclosure. Not allowed out, because the park's going to close soon. But, they're in the enclosure. So, it'd be, it's uh, great seeing these guys for the first time, actually. So the capybara do have their own enclosure over there, however, today they are in with the tortoises. Another thing in my winter updates was the fact that they have now done some uh, paintings on the side of river rafts on the fence. As you can see, these are so colourful and they have now finished them off so it goes all the way down. So of course Mexicana only really has a rattlesnake now, however Mexico has now opened, which is um, a Mexican style, I assume, themed restaurant. Obviously Taco Taria has gone. And it has kind of been circulated on Twitter at the moment for their prices being quite expensive. Um, maybe one day I'll end up trying this, I'm not sure. But for anyone who likes this sort of thing, it is now open. And they've also got some little boards advertising the food around the park as well. As you can see, just here. Something I do want to point out to you guys is it's not this monkey here. But they've recently had a new baby monkey here at Chesington and it's currently on mum's back and I don't know if it's that one, I can't really see. Down in the monkey walkthrough um, near Wanyama, there is in the Amazon a new baby monkey been born. Now, I'm not sure if it's these monkeys, the Saki monkeys or I think these are the Saki monkeys, I'm not sure. But a new baby monkey has been born and I'm still yet to see it. Oh, we're not in focus. She's looking at... So opposite the monkeys just here, of course, used to be the parrots, but they have now all disappeared and gone. So this is currently what it says outside, so we'll have to see what's going to happen to this area in the future. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you liked the updates. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon for some more exciting new trip plans at the weekend. Bye-bye, guys.